Hey Husker Nation, welcome to another video from Just Two Dudes. My name's Louie. My name's Seth. I'm the dad. And I'm the son. Alright, so fall, it's Monday and yeah. we're in our third day of fall camp and pretty much all anybody wants to talk about is, is the quarterback the, race. Quarterbacks, yep. Go ahead. Alright, well starting off, whoever ends up winning this race, of course we have the senior, Zach Lee, uh, the true sophomore, Cody Green and the redshirt freshman Taylor Martinez. Those seem to be the guys that pretty much are the only ones. But really, I think it's as far as being our starting quarterback, it's Zach Lee and Cody Green. Taylor Martinez will probably factor in as like a wildcat or a package type guy, at least for now. But whoever comes out on top, really what I just want to see is someone who can manage the offense and has good leadership because we're going to need leadership this year from our quarterback, and that's something we didn't have last year. Well, as far as the offense goes, we don't know what we're getting. We don't right. know if we're getting what we saw in the Arizona game or what we saw in the last four or five games of the regular season. We don't know if the quarterback is going to need to be a playmaker right. um, or if he's going to be able to be like Alabama's quarterback last year to where he simply had to manage the game right. because his defense was so good, he had such a strong running game, and, and he had people around him that made plays when they had to. Right. Uh, we didn't have guys that made no. plays for our quarterback last no. year when when he needed them to. Yes. Um, we I had think if you need a game manager, not really. if you need a game manager, Zach Lee's the man. Right. Uh, the guy who gives you the best chance to win the most games, to me, is still Zach Lee. I, I, I think, agree. I, I think agree. Zach Lee's the starter. I think everything that, that we're hearing is all um, just, um, I'm not going to say it's, uh, I don't want to use the word lie, but I think it's. it's they, I think they really try to promote yeah. each position as you never have your position locked down. Everybody has to compete. I think this position is is locked down. Um, I, I think it is, but I hope the coaches don't do anything until the last week. I know Sean Watson the other day in the he has a quote saying. If there's a guy who comes out of the pack and is a starter in ten days, we'll name it then. I don't necessarily want to see that. I like to drag this out as much as possible. Even though I'm with you, I think it's already a done deal, especially with um, receivers are talking about Zach Lee saying his arm strength is better than ever. He's a whole different quarterback. He knows he made mistakes last year, and he's worked really hard, and, and especially in film, and seeing those, and he just, from what receivers are saying, he just gets it now. So that's very encouraging. Yeah, and I was Paul was quoted after after uh, one either the first practice or one of the workouts or something like that as saying he threw a ball so right. hard to him that he he, he was, jammed his finger. Yeah, though. jammed his finger, yeah. and he goes, I almost dropped it, um, and he was just really surprised by uh, Zach Lee's arm mm -hmm. strength. Um, and what I, what I was getting at with the whole, I hope they drag it out as long as possible, is just the competition to keep getting Cody Green that much better. Taylor Martinez, that much better. Because they're young kids. I think I think if you go ahead and name Zach Lee the starter, Cody Green and Taylor Martinez might step back a little, might not yeah. approach it as hard. And I think that's the real reason. I think this whole competition is just, last year the quarterback position was just, it, it was dreadful. I'm just going to be honest. And I think Bo knows that for us to be successful and for the offense to go where it needs to, I think he he's really promoting this quarterback race to light a fire underneath every single one of them and just see who wants it the most. I think the starting unit and all the upperclassmen are pretty much pro Zach Lee. Yeah. And I think the younger kids on the team all really like uh, like the potential that Cody Green displays. Right, right. Um, Sean Watson was quoted as saying that uh, Cody Green has, he's a completely different kid than he was last year. He knows what he's doing. He's much more in command when he's out yes. there. Uh, he's just doing things a lot better. And of course the fans, uh, God bless them. The, yeah. the fans are right now, they're in love with Taylor Martinez. And right. coming off of, of, of our quarterback play last year, uh, I could see where in the spring game yeah. people saw some pretty exciting things. Right, but the bottom line with Taylor Martinez is he's still a young guy, still doesn't have 
the greatest grasp on the system. Certainly not as much as Zach Lee and Cody Green. So, and I, I, I don't think he's there yet. And even in the spring game, you could see it. He's just not there. And but I definitely think Taylor Martinez is going is going to be a huge part of our offense. Whether it's if they put him in the slot every once in a while and try reverses, jet sweeps, screen passes, or in the wildcat, because he's just too much. He's too explosive of a player to just sit on the bench for 12 games. And I think the coaches know that, and I really think they're going to put packages around for him. Well, as far as Cody Green goes, I think Cody Green. Um, Cody Green needs right now. He needs two good of wide receivers to to play with. He yeah. still throws a, a ten yard route. He still throws that like it was shot out of a cannon. Right. Zach Lee throws a nice ball. He throws a very catchable ball. Zach, uh, Zach, Cody I think Green. Cody Green's the type of kid that uh, he he wants his receivers to make plays for him. Yeah. As to where Zach Lee just. Uh, just puts the ball where it needs to be. Right, and he understands throw it hard now, take a little off. He understands the different variations of touch, when to put more touch on the ball, when not to, when you got to stick it in. And I don't think Cody's there yet, which let's be honest, there's not a lot of sophomores around that do right. that. Right, Co Cody Green just wants to sit back there and, and throw darts, which, right. which is okay, but you got to yeah. have receivers I, I do. That, that are – that are capable of making plays for somebody like that. Right, which right now we might have. We don't know yet. We, right. we really don't know anything. We won't know anything until games start rolling around. Um, but I, I really I really like what I'm hearing about Cody Green. I'm not saying that because I want him to start. I, I'm, I'm very pro Zach Lee. But I think Cody Green, I, it's really nice to hear him that he's maturing. He's taking all these steps. Because I really do think he, he's going to be the starter next year. And I think we need that because he'll be a junior then. And he'll just be that much more in the system. He'll know the players that much more, being with them a lot more. And he'll just have a better grasp on the system. So it's really nice to hear that he's maturing and he's making strides. And I hope it continues whether he's the starter or not. Well, at this point in time, I'm still under the impression that I don't think outside of injuries or anything like that. I don't think Cody Green ever is the starter here. I, uh, I just I I just don't see any anything out of out of him. Uh, hopefully, maybe in these first couple games, I, I still think Zach Lee will start. Yeah. I, I the hope is as early in the fourth quarter we're up forty two to three. Yeah. Or, or something like that. Throw them both in there. Yeah. Throw Cody, then throw a Taylor. I mean hope yeah, yeah hopefully. Uh, hopefully but, we get to see Cody Green. Yeah. And um, I want the kid to do well. I don't. I don't want him not to succeed. I just don't think he. I just don't think he has the tools. Right. Um, but I sure hope I'm proven wrong. Um, but I agree with you with the thing to where uh, when your quarterback play wasn't so rock steady last yeah. year that um, it is important to wait to name a starter. That yeah. way, the the two guys that are chasing Zachley, yeah. I believe they're chasing Zachley. Yeah. That way, they keep pressing, and they still think that they have a shot at the position. Because if you do name a starter right now, you're right. These kids are gonna kind of fall off the pace a little right. bit and not try and push as hard. If you if you let them think they have a chance, um, they're they're gonna keep working hard. Yeah. And, and, and if they can convince themselves they got a chance, you know, if they're out there with a good positive attitude, mm -hmm. they're really gonna put forth the effort. Right. And I still think the same thing I thought after spring. I think Zach Lee is going to be the starter. I think Cody Green is going to be the backup. But I think Taylor Martinez, I still think he's going he's going to get more snaps than Cody Green. So really it's like he'll be our he's like our backup and I'll put quotes around that. Because he's just going to be a package guy. What's what's funny talking about quarterbacks is yesterday I saw a picture of all five of them. Uh, they were doing some kind of a drill, and I just uh, I laughed when I read it because I saw that LaTravis Washington is still here. Yeah, uh, that poor kid. You know, really good athlete. God yeah. bless him. I'm always kind of impressed when I see him. Yeah, like in the spring game, I'm like, you know, because you know, you still think of him as the old special teams uh, contributor, right. fighting for playing time at, at what was linebacker? Uh, outside linebacker. Yeah, and then to see him play a quarterback, I, I absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, poor kid probably doesn't have a shot. I mean, I, I don't know how far ahead we'll have to be to see him, 
But uh, I sure hope that kid gets some snaps this year. He's a senior. So to, to wrap it up, yep. Zach Lee's the starter. Zach Lee's the starter. Hands down, not even I close. I, I agree for now. But um, just to let you guys know, in a couple weeks, we're going to do another video about the quarterback race with more updated information during fall camp. And like I said, that'll be on in just about a week and a half, two weeks from now. And tell them about the videos we have coming up here in a couple days. And, and then we're also doing videos about uh, the offense and defense just like this. And again, we'll be continuing that throughout fall camp as well.